Hello, hope you're doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a website for bakery business. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly, it is also easy to use, and you can get started for completely free. You don't need a credit card or anything like that. All you'll need is your email address and from there you can create an account. Once you have created your account on Wix.com, you're going to tap on Create New Site. And after tapping on Create New Site, I want you to tap on Create on Wix Editor. After selecting Create on Wix Editor, you're going to tap on Set Up Without AI. After selecting Set Up Without AI, on the search bar, we're going to be typing in Bakery and you can see it right there. We're going to select Bakery, then tap on Next. After selecting Next, you can enter the name of your bakery. So I'll enter Test Bakery, then tap on Next. After selecting Next, you will be redirected to this page. And these are simply the plugins or features that will be added to your website. So for example, you will have the chat plugin, which will allow you to talk to your website visitors or to interact with your website visitors. And also you have the Instagram feed right here. So you'll be able to add your Instagram feed to show some social proof. If it is a case that you don't want to add it, you can simply untick the box right there. And also you'll be able to set up the menu option using Wix by selecting restaurant menu. And also you'll be able to collect food orders by doing this. And if it is a case that you would like to also offer bookings, you could select bookings right here. If you want to add a blog to your website, you could tap on blog. After you're finished, you're going to tap on next at the bottom of the page. Then from here, we are going to tap on begin with a template. After selecting begin with a template, you can scroll down and you can select whichever one of these themes that you like. And this is one of the major standout features when it comes on to Wix website builder. As with these themes, you'll be able to create a stunning looking website and also a very operational website, even as a complete beginner. Now let's say for example, we would like to use this template, we could simply tap on edit. Once here, you could tap in the box and you could provide some information and the Wix AI would add content to your website or you can simply tap on the X to close the pop-up. At the moment, this is how our website looks. We're going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right-hand corner. Then from here, Let's tap on it real quick. Then from here, you can scroll down and you can see how our website looks right here. Already, it does look stunning. Now to start editing a particular section, you will simply hover over the section. Let's say the header section, then tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. From here, you could change the business name by tapping on the business. From here, you can change the business address by tapping right there. You can also tap on this section and if you would like to change the background image you can do that you can change the text as you can see right there it is quite easy to edit our wix website and you can scroll down and you can continue editing each section so for example you could edit the about section once more by simply hovering over the section with your cursor tapping on quick edit you are going to see a window pop up on the right hand column. In this window, you can change the paragraph text. You can also change the button and change the image as you can see right there. After you have done all of that, and by the way, if it is a case that you would like to, for example, add text or a picture to a section, you can simply tap on the plus in the top left hand corner that says add elements. And from here, you'll be able to add text, images, buttons, anything at all that you would like to add to the website, you can find it in this section. After you're finished editing your website, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner, then tap on save and continue. 
once it has been saved you can tap on done then i want you to go over to the top left hand corner and you are going to hover over site right here then you are going to select my dashboard after selecting my dashboard you will be redirected to a new page on this new page i'm now going to show you how to set up the different payment methods that you can offer and also how to set up your menu option so all you would need to do is go over to the left hand corner and right where you see restaurants you can simply tap on menu so let's select menu real quick after you have selected menu you are going to see a new dashboard right here so you can see some sample options so you can see the bagel right there we could tap on edit after selecting edit you can change the item name and you can also scroll down you could change the image if you want the price if you want as you can see right there and by tapping on ordering you can choose whether the person can order it whether it is in stock or not and you can tap on save to save your changes and to add new menus you could simply tap on add new section or add new menu right here in the top right hand corner also by selecting online order menus so let's select that from the left hand menu option right here from here you will be able to view all of your online orders and also going over to the left hand menu option once more if it is a case that you'd like to offer gift cards you can set up gift cards right there you can also set up your payment options by selecting billing and payments and tapping on payments you will be redirected to this page on this page i want you to tap on manage payment methods after selecting manage payment methods you will be redirected to a new page on this new page right where you see tilopay and paypal on my screen depending on the country or region you are located in you will see different payment options and you can simply connect for example your paypal account and from there your customers will now be able to pay you via paypal if it is a case that you would like to change your website location so that you can offer more payment options you can tap on your current location in the top right hand corner and let's say for example i were to type in canada you can see right here after selecting canada as my business location you can see that i'm now provided with a new set of payment options for example the wix payment option which will allow me to connect apple pay and google pay and by scrolling down tapping on see more payment option you can see we can also accept crypto payment and by scrolling down you can see the numerous payment options that are now available so as i was saying earlier depending on the country or region that you're located in you will see a different set of payment options keep in mind to accept payments using the wix platform you will need to go onto one of their paid plans but their paid plans are quite affordable for example if i were to tap on upgrade now this is their paid plan page as you can see right here it starts off at $17 per month and goes up to $35 per month. And with these plans, you'll be provided with a free custom domain name. You will also be provided with hosting and so many other features. So I do consider this a good investment for your business. And that's it. Once you're finished, you can go back onto the Wix editor page tap on publish and your website will now be live if it is a case that you don't want to use the paid plan you can still select publish and from there you will be provided with a free wix url so this is how our website looks at the moment you can see right there hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe